I'm gonna put a wig cap on because we are gonna definitely put a wig on later You might want to put some bobby pins on to secure your wig cap depending on how long your hair is Putting bobby pins in like an X form around your hairline really does help because if you want to lip sync to Adele songs after this and whip your hair back and forth, this will really help. I already moisturized my face. I'm setting my skin with some setting spray. This is the Urban Decay D Slick. Then I'm going to get one of my all-time favorite foundations. This bottle is almost empty. That's how much I love this stuff. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation with one of my all-time favorite foundation brushes. This is the NYX Number no. 4 Face Brush. Now Adele I don't think has these luxury under eye bag circles. Her luxury bags are like the real ones. And hers don't make her look like a dead tired owl, like mine do. This is one of my all time favorite holy grail concealers, the Naked Skin by Urban Decay Weightless Coverage Concealer. Just blending all that out with a beauty blender and putting that concealer on spots that you have acne because, you know, Adele's flawless and you want to look semi like her as close as you can. You can never achieve it, but I'm trying. And then doing some concealer around my nose to cover that rosacea. And in the center between my brows because I got a little acne there as well. Now I'm just getting one of my all-time favorite Poise Multitask HD Creams. It's a mouthful, but these are so amazing. I'm using the highlight color first under my eyes, blending that out, and then I'm getting a mixture of the two lightest contour colors. I love these creams because they have an ash tone contour that's not too gray, and it makes it look like natural shadows on your face. And Adele has like these cheekbones from the gods. She has ones that don't like sink in too much. I don't know how to explain them. They have like these curves in it. And her jawline is a little bit less wide than mine, so I am doing some contour right there as well. Of course, this is going to change depending on your face shape. You don't want to do the contour too heavy to where it looks like you have a goatee, but we are also doing that famous, adorable, what I wish I had of a butt chin that Adele has. It is so cute. I honestly wish I had a butt chin. Like, that in dimples is like my life goals. Really trying to focus on that chin because it's really going to set it off to make it look like Adele. So I do some highlight marks around the dimple in the chin and do some highlights in between those brows as well. Now I'm taking this contour color and putting it on my nose because Adele has this beautiful slender nose and mine is like small but it's very flat and wide compared to Adele's. So girl, we're going to try to make our nose look as perfectly slender as hers is as much as we can with makeup. Her contour like connects to her brow bone and putting some contour around my forehead as well where it naturally is on most people. Really focusing that butt chin because her chin is a lot shorter than mine. I have a very prominent jawline for my face shape. Doing more highlights on that butt chin as well. Making the contours around the cheekbones and the butt chin a little bit darker but blending it out to look like a natural shadow. So Adele has a very natural blush color, nothing too extravagant, so I got my favorite, the Balm's Cream Blush, and I'm using the color Cider. Adele has these dimples around her mouth area that really sets off her lip shape. It really puts focus around her adorable chin and her lips. Really trying to make that nose look even more slender. I mean, this is probably the hardest part of the makeup is the nose. Just contouring parts of my face. Now I'm just setting all of this makeup that we just did with some powder, with a big fluffy brush, and then a giant powder puff all over my chest. Now it's time for the brows. I am getting this orange tone cream paint from my Poise Makeup Palette and painting on them brows. Adele has like a strawberry red eyebrow with hints of brown in it, so I'm doing this orange tone that reminds me of a strawberry red blonde over my natural brows, painting it on there like real brow hairs with a very thin brush in the same motion as you're drawing on hairs if you're drawing a person's face. I was lucky enough that me and Adele have very similar brow shapes. And then I'm getting a brown cream paint and painting over that orange tone blonde color so that it looks more like natural hairs. And hint, hint, this is going to match our wig later. Now that your brows are done, it's time to prep your eyelids for a shadow. I am using an eyeshadow primer. This one's by Ofra Cosmetics. Anyone will do. So for the Adele look that I'm trying to replicate, I am going to use the Sephora Collection Overcast Filter Eyeshadow Palette. It has the greatest colors for any smoky eye. For the cut crease eye makeup look that Adele wears. Starting off with the color Berlin Underground from the palette. This is a gray smoky color. Doing a cut crease and blending it to our brow bone. And then getting the color Rocky, which is a matte milk chocolate brown color. And it's a little bit, not a dark chocolate, not a milk chocolate, somewhere in between. Over that gray color 
and bling it into there to make it look like more of a natural shadow. Girl, you wanna blend that to death into the brow bone, depending on how big your eyes are. She has more of a hooded eye shape than I do, so I'm blending it higher to the brow bone. Then I'm getting the color black lace from the palette and putting it in the outer corner and blending it in. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye, of course. I love this eyeshadow combo because it reminds me of like toasty marshmallows, like of campfires for some reason, like the ashes of it, and wiping that on your eyes. Sounds magical. Now I'm getting that black lace matte black eyeshadow and doing it on our bottom lash line. Don't drag this color all the way to the inner corner, but you wanna smudge it out. Now it's time for the hard part to attempt Adele's winged eyeliner. She always has the most perfect wing eyeliner like ever. Don't know how she does it. I don't know if I could do it as perfect as she does, but I tried. Then use the color Getaway from the palette I've been using to connect the outer corner shadow to my bottom lash line. Then I'm getting Benefit's Hula Bronzer to blend in as a transition color. Fixing my eyebrows because I feel like they needed to be filled in a little bit more. And now it is time to prep your eyes for some false lashes. I curled my natural lashes, randomly decided to put some highlighter more on my face, and then put some mascara on my lashes. And then I got these very flurry lashes from Violet Voss in the style of Vampress. Measured them out to my eye shape, then put some eyelash glue on and stuck them on there. Fun fact, one of my eyes is actually bigger than the other, so I have to cut one down before sticking and pasting it on my eye. And now it's time for the lips. I am drawing on my lips a little bit wider than they naturally are, because me and Adele have very similar lip shapes, but hers goes out farther. She has a wider mouth than I do, like just a little bit. This is the OCC Lip Pencil in Trick. It's like one of my favorite nude lip pencils. But this lip pencil is a little bit too browny pink, so I took some orange corrector, just a tad bit of concealer on top of that, and then I took the NYX Butter Gloss in Fortune Cookie over that, and it gives like this gorgeous nude glossy lip. And now it is time for Adele's laid hair. I got this wig off of Amazon, and I lucked out because it is like the perfect strawberry blonde that Adele usually has. She's a little bit more blonde lately with like shorter hair, but I really wanted to replicate the look that I was inspired by. You have to make sure you have a side part like Adele does. And then I got this fake faux fur like blanket thing because she has this beautiful, gorgeous, cozy sweater in the picture. And I contoured my nose to death with some Benefit Hula Bronzer. And once you think you have the contour, the highlight, everything just on point as close as you can to Adele's face, you are complete with this Adele makeup transformation. Leave me a comment down below on any other celebrities you would love to see me transform into that you think I could. Honestly, I had so much fun doing this. I did not think this was possible, but I think she kind of does look like Adele. I like how I'm saying she, like it's not me. It's kind of creepy. I just want that beautiful...